Hello Pisces, welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> What's up y'all? It's your girl Blue Phoenix and I'm back with another video. Uh, and Pisces, we are gonna tap into what's going on with you guys. I did hear you become who you hang around. That actually ain't what I heard, but that's what Spirit just said. You become who you hang around. I heard you attract what you focus on, all right? Um, so anyway, if y'all are new here, thank y'all for visiting. I'm Blue Phoenix. <laughs> thank y'all so much for visiting. Um, and to my returning subscribers, what's goody big energy fam? What's up? Ooh, two of wands. Ooh, two of pentacles on the bottom. 22, master numbers. Somebody's a master or someone's mastering something here, Pisces. All right, don't forget to like the video for your girl. It really helps out in the algorithm. And it's an easy, free way to exchange some positive energies with one another. I could pick up on your energy um, as well by doing that. And if you resonate with my energy and you aren't subscribed yet, I would greatly uh, appreciate it if you consider subscribing to the channel today. All right, Pisces, let's tap in and see what's coming your way. What energy is Pisces going to be in spirit and what's coming their way? Shit, whatever it is, it's coming soon. <laughs> the, ooh, some sort of new beginning. Oh, shit. I don't know what this is with this uh, King of Pentacles, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus could be significant for some of y'all. Somebody's bound, though. Somebody is stuck somewhere. All right, and they moving slow. This is crazy because you got this fast-moving beginning here, right? This fast-moving new start, some rest, the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and this slow Knight of Pentacles back here. Some I heard somebody or something is holding on for dear life, okay? Possibly someone from your past. Sorry. There we go. All right, Holy Spirit, help me tap into Pisces energy, please. Help me see what's going on with them. Mm. Thank you, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, for the messages, for the direction and the protection y'all provide me each and every day. Help me get this info back to Pisces in a way where they can utilize it for the betterment of their lives. Show me Pisces energy. What energy is Pisces in or will be in in the near future? Let's see here. You got the hangman that is Pisces energy with the two of swords on the bottom of the deck. Now, the hangman can speak of spiritual enlightenment, okay? It could speak of a momentary pause. I heard to reflect. Obviously, you're reflecting on something because the two of swords speaks about the swords speak about the mind, you know what I'm saying? So some sort of choice we have here coming up. What's this pause in regards to spirit? What is this pause for Pisces? Decisions, choices, options. Okay, some form of possible illusion. Okay, with the um, Ace of Swords and the Seven of Swords, a King of Cups could be significant. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Then you have another, this is manifestation all day long. This is some form of manifestation, okay? Sorry for the lighting, huh? Um, okay. Hmm. Evaluation. I heard y'all could be evaluating. What are they evaluating? Four of cups on the bottom of the deck. What's this pause about, spirit? How y'all doing out there? Y'all all right? Y'all good, Pisces? Or cross watcher? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing all right. I'm a Pisces, too. I don't know what this hangman man about, though. What we reflecting on, spirit? What's, what's going on? Oh, shit. Four of cups on the bottom of the deck again. All right. So I'm hearing something about your environment, your surroundings. All right. I heard decision again. Some sort of decision. You had to possibly end something bringing an ending to something, some form of closure. Then you got the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune. What is this? What is 
Pisces looking into spirit. This is. Let's see. Oh, I've got all my little gut hanging out. I'm sorry. My bad. What is the pause for us here? What is this hangman? Why is Pisces in this energy? What's going on? Show me spirit. Two of wands. This may be in regards to a connection. Okay, I heard a prospect. Some of y'all could have multiple people pursuing you or you could be pursuing multiple people. All right. So tell me about these two choices right here, spirit. Give me choice A and choice B. Choice A is being bound. Okay. Ooh, what? What's this bound up energy about? Three of cups with the five of wands on the bottom. Some of y'all could be evaluating your, I, I'm telling you, I heard you become who you hang around. You become who you hang around. You, you manifest what you focus on, right? So if your energy, if you hanging around, you know what I'm saying? Maybe some toxic people, okay? Old friends, even family, whoever, some sort of bondage, soul tie, connection that may have some of you guys stuck in a place with this eight of um swords and the hangman all right what does pisces need to know about this eight of swords spirit with the three of cups look the five of uh cups on the bottom of the deck this may bring sadness to some of y'all. Oh my God, you got the three of swords and the seven of swords. That's heartbreaking, that's sneaky behavior. And the devil is poking out. Somebody is being, somebody being sneaky, Pisces. Somebody is being sneaky. Yo. Yo, it's something here about your dreams too. Pay attention to your dreams right now, Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about this seven of swords with this freaking magician behind, a sneaky magician, a sneaky, like something don't feel right here. What is this about? What do they need to know about this three of cups here with the seven of swords? What is this? All right, be, be uh, aware of who you exchange your energy with. Someone who was maybe in inconsistent or something that was inconsistent. I'm seeing a two of pentacles, like, I don't know, a back and forth, okay? All right, this could be with the mom for some of you guys, or you could be a mother figure. The empress, <laughs> first of all, she's sitting on the throne. Ahem. Um, But yeah, <laughs> this could be your energy or it could be someone else's energy, but definitely a feminine um, mothering energy a producer a fertilizer okay i don't know that's in spirit okay i guess like a uh, her baby making machine but okay that might be significant for somebody remember this is a collective pisces reading so pick up what resonates leave the rest all right spirit is bringing me to my black tourmaline something about protecting your energy all right um yeah protecting your energy all right, a king of pentacles could be significant. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. What about this? Oh, shit. <sighs> Fuck. The seven of wands and the two of, uh, love. I mean, the lovers. That's actually number six. Gemini energy. So you got Gemini and Pisces out here right now, right? And the sun on the bottom of the deck. So the seven of wands speaks about defensiveness, standing your ground. Is somebody trying to make a soul tie with you, Pisces? <laughs> the fuck? What is this person doing, Spirit? What the fuck? The fuck? The fuck is this? King of Wands. Okay, that's a very attractive person. Ten of Cups. That's family. That's ultimate wish fulfillment. And you got the higher front. That's marriage, high level <coughs> relationship, contracts, things of that nature. So what does Pisces need to know about this? 
the lovers and the seven of of wands spirit okay and how the hell is it connected with all the rest of the y'all get the fuck out of here get the fuck good boy this definitely look like some kind of damn agreement contract look at this you got the capricorn and the taurus energies out here capricorn and taurus okay but look at mm -mm, no 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 you got the lover i had shit all over the place right the lovers and the devil look at those cards right this is a loving beautiful wonderful connection sex is good you got what i don't even know why i said that but okay meanwhile this one sex could be good but there is some sort of connection that is being um created some sort of hold up bondage so what does pisces need to do about this this energy mm -mm. and then look devil look at ugly i'm just poking the head i back there like uh -uh, sit down sit down it's something about this person of, okay in the will of fortune the cards ain't ugly but i'm getting an ugly ass feeling from this with the four of the fuck and the knight of cups the fuck? this feels very much like a soul tie like I don't know, this could be someone from your past with the Wheel of Fortune here, right? Someone from your past. Okay, who may be wanting to come in for a new offer of love. Okay. Might be some secrets going on, though. Something is not all the way what it seems. There's a secret here. What's the secret? I don't like that. What's this secret spirit? What's going on? Hmm. Three of Wands. That's growth and expansion. With the page of um, swords. That's what? Y'all, the Six of Cups. This is definitely either past life or someone from your past. This person, I, what? I'm seeing this person wanting to grow with you. I feel as though there's something secretive about this person though. I feel like this, okay, it's something about possibly, okay, you got this heartbreak with the Knight of uh, Wands here. Something about, could be their past. What does Pisces need to know about this person, spirit, or this connection, or this soul tie, whatever the fuck this is? Like, you're really, okay, something about your discernment. Use your discernment, Pisces. Cut through the bullshit. Damn, okay. Tell me about this Eight of Swords again, spirit. Four of Wands. That's the home. That's foundation. It might be a little wiggly right now. It might be a little... Some of y'all might be feeling... Some about inside of your home. It's Okay, listen, y'all. Once again, it's collective. So, pick up what resonates. But there is either someone okay that you're connected to or something in your home that is needing attention or something what is this spherical shit i need to know too what's up <laughs> what is this what's this nine of wands that's ptsd a lot of trauma a lot of pain okay two of swords again indecisiveness all right what action does pisces need to take you got the four of swords rest some of y'all need rest and recuperation from whatever is going on. Look at that. To allow for some form of um, death and rebirth. All right, so what does Pisces needs to do, need to do, spirit? You got the four of swords. What other advice do you have for Pisces uh, concerning this eight of swords? What do they need to do? Cut 
create, inspire, inspiration, okay? I'm still thinking about this person. I don't like focusing on negativity, but it's just like still in my head. Queen of, queen of uh, Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So what's the Ace of Wands, Spirit? This is some form of inspiration. This is coming from the divine. Okay, pay attention to your dreams. Okay, so pay attention to your intuition. All right, you know how priestess is Pisces. That's, that's who we are. We're the high priestess, all right? The holder of secrets. Look at this. Oh my gosh, have the strength to do whatever this work is. Some of y'all are doing some kind of inner work, some kind of deep work, subconscious work or something. All right. Wow. Then you got the sun crowning the moon. <laughs> I don't know why I said crowning the moon. I don't know what that even fucking means. I just saw the fool card. All right. Something about a drain, okay? Or something about don't get your hands stuck in something. Shit. What does Pisces need to do, spirit, in regards to the situation? It's so general. Wow, alchemize. All right, yes, sir, with the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all could be doing, um, you know, like dabbling in magic and manifestations. Um, some of y'all could be artists, all right? Something about traveling here as well. Okay, something about your environment, bro. It's something about sweeping. I'm seeing sweeping, cleaning, saging, like something about your foundation here. Look at that shit. I'm telling you, bro. Didn't I just say that some of y'all might be trying to manifest something or manifesting or doing spell work or something like that? And all spell work ain't bad spell work, okay? I'm a fucking magician, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Most of the Pisces I know are magicians because we are the best freaking daydreamers. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, we the, these are daydreams that can represent daydreams. Real talk. I'm telling you, what? Focus on the good, Pisces. Whatever this shit is that is is sneaky or whatever is gonna come to light. You got you had the high priestess. It's gonna come to light. And the sun. You wanna tell me anything else about this seven? Ooh, you got seven to seven. Y'all, I watched. I mean, I watched. I uh did a video yesterday. It might be on this channel or on Planet Pisces. Um, and the title was seven 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 or something about you being lucky. Look at that shit. The world. The world. There's something about art online for some of y'all. But for others, it's something about travel as well, too, or distance, or... Okay, what is this seven of the 77s over here for? Four cups, all right, what else? And the Ace of Cups. All right, some of y'all could be um, with the Six of Swords. Some of y'all could be focused on the problem. I keep hearing that. Whatever, so, okay, whatever got your head br bright, lit up like that, okay? That may have you in that, that feeling, that situation, that, yeah, look, I'm telling you with the 10 of wands right here and the five of wands right here. All right, I'm hearing focus, like abundant mindset. You are who you, you become who you hang around. You know what I'm saying? You manifest what you focus on, right? Focus on abundance. Focus on abundance, Pisces. Focus on your manifestations, baby girl, baby boy. All right, I love y'all. Don't forget to like the video. Comment down below. Subscribe if you aren't already. And holla at me on Facebook in the Big Energy Fam. All that shit is down below in the description box. I holla. <laughs>